Welcome everyone to FTSvideos.com. Jay Marks here, Certified Health and Exercise Specialist. Today I'm with my client Derek, uh, training to be a professional MMA fighter. We're going to do the no crunches workout number two using the short barbell. So this exercise, you're not going to do one single crunch, but trust me, your core is going to be firing away. You're going to work your chest, your legs, and your back. You're going to do three sets, 30 seconds intervals, or as many as possible if you don't have a timer. No rest in between each set, okay, until each exercise, excuse me. Then you rest only one minute at the very end. Then on the next set, you only rest 45 seconds. And on the last set, maybe 45 seconds to 30 seconds. I'll write that all in at the end. We're going to start right here with the short bar. Okay, we go to your chest press. You're going to find that bench, roll back slowly. Feet start up on the bench. Do a few presses first. Okay, bring it to the middle of the chest. There we go. I love using the short bar a lot with my clients. It's easier to balance. You don't have to fight trying to get the barbell at the gym. Everyone wants to use it. Now, after you've done a few reps, you want to make sure that in the up position, okay, you've got it still centered over the chest, you lift your legs slowly. And as you lower the bar down, you lower your legs down ever so slightly and up. So we've gone from a regular bench press to a full body workout. Now your core is working. Okay, this is advanced, okay, you're moving the legs. You find you can't move your legs, just hold the legs up and press. It's not as difficult, but you're still tar targeting, excuse me, your core. So as you lower that bar down, here we go, as that bar comes down to his chest, he lowers the legs ever so slightly. The lowering of the legs, use your lower abs. You're not going straight out to the floor because then your back will arc. It's a little tricky because you got to concentrate on the push in here. So when I do this with my clients, I actually always usually watch this area. This is the easy part. This here is what's a little more challenging. Let's go three more. One, good. two, full body workout. Three, feet will come to the bench, then to the floor. Good, just sit up. Now, sort of catch your breath for a quick second, and then from here, flip that bar up over your head, rest them on the shoulders, and then you're going into squat hops. So you're going to squat down, and then a little hop, and then right back into your squat. Let's just slow it down just a bit. After the hop, you go right back into your squat. So you don't want to squat and just stop dead straight. Good. Now he's got about 10 seconds. We're gonna take the hop out and just do your squats now. So that's it, nine, eight, seven, six. 30 second interval. Okay, now you gotta be careful here. Flip it back over your head. Bring it down in front. Move away from the bench a little bit. Now we're going to your back rows. Single leg row. Leg kicks out, lean forward. Drive to your abs. And any time if you get in trouble with your balance, that toe just touches the floor. So a regular barbell row. And this is advanced now. All your weight's on one leg. Your body wants to shift to one side. Your core is firing away. Like I said, it's the no crunch workout. You're not gonna do one abdominal crunch and then get lean. I'm telling you, this is the type of training that everyone should be doing. Train like an athlete, you'll look like an athlete. Good, switch legs, awesome. Driving up, good. So with here, Maybe 15 seconds a leg. 15 seconds is a long time to be on one leg. Good. Head is not moving, it's not drawing forward. All these exercises you can find if you log on to certain exercises on how to do them properly. Two. Good, and time. Awesome, and that's your no crunch workout, barbell chest with your leg raises, squat hops, and single leg barbell rows, all three. Work the large muscles, all three work the core. See you next time.